Tonight, the Food and Drug Administration making a move to prioritize public health with a proposed ban on menthol cigarettes and all flavored cigars. But as our Vanya Joseph shows us, experts believe cigarette companies have a motive behind their marketing. There's still a long way to go. The U.S. government released its long-awaited plan to ban menthol cigarettes and flavored cigars. President of nonprofit Truth Initiative Robin Koval says when finalized, this move will protect young people and reduce health inequities. They function as a starter product for young people. Menthol's cooling effect has been shown to mask the throat harshness of smoking, making it easier to start and harder to quit. The FDA says its elimination could prevent between 300,000 and 650,000 smoking deaths over 40 years, hopefully advancing health equity. 85% of black individuals who smoke smoke, smoke menthols. Professor of History and Public Affairs Keith Waylou says this disproportionate use among black smokers is no accident. Uh, whether it involved um, advertising on black radio, uh, advertising in black newspapers, uh, putting up posters close to the points of purchase. According to the CDC, 18% of adults in Louisiana are smokers. That's roughly around 650,000 people. In addition, the annual health care costs in Louisiana directly caused by smoking is more than a billion dollars. We will all have to review it very carefully. There will be a comment period. The FDA will then have to go back um, and review all those comments before we get to a final rules. Vanya Joseph, NBC Local 33 News.